Not everything that can be counted counts, and not everything that counts can be counted. Everybody is a genius. But if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. All religions, arts and sciences are branches of the same tree. Any intelligent fool can make things bigger and more complex. It takes a touch of genius and a lot of courage to move in the opposite direction. A man should look for what is, and not for what he thinks should be. In the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. A person who never made a mistake never tried anything new. A table, a chair, a bowl of fruit and a violin. What else does a man need to be happy? A human being is part of a whole called by us the universe. The important thing is to not stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existing. The most beautiful experience we can have is the mysterious. It is the fundamental emotion that stands at the cradle of true art and true science. Whoever does not know it and can no longer wonder, no longer marvel is as good as dead, and his eyes are dimmed. Nothing truly valuable arises from ambition or from a mere sense of duty, it stems rather from love and devotion towards men and towards objective things. A question that sometimes drives me hazy, am I or are the others crazy? Memory is deceptive because it is colored by today's events. Whoever is careless with the truth in small matters, cannot be trusted with important matters. Few are those who see with their own eyes and feel with their own hearts. Anger dwells only in the bosom of fools. Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. Concern for man and his fate must always form the chief interest of all technical endeavors. Never forget this in the midst of your diagrams and equations. I have no special talent. I am only passionately curious. Once you stop learning, you start dying. It has become appallingly obvious that our technology has exceeded our humanity. When a man sits with a pretty girl for an hour, it seems like a minute. But let him sit on a hot stove for a minute, and it's longer than an hour. That's relativity. It is true that my parents were worried because I began to speak fairly late so that they even consulted a doctor. I can't say how old I was, but surely not less than three. Sometimes one pays most for the things one gets for nothing. A man should look for what is, and not for what he thinks should be. Two things are infinite, the universe and human stupidity, and I'm not sure about the universe. Most teachers waste their time by asking questions that are intended to discover what a pupil does not know, 
whereas the true art of questioning is to discover what the pupil does know or is capable of knowing. A happy man is too satisfied with the present to dwell too much on the future. One thing I have learned in a long life, that all our science, measured against reality, is primitive and childlike, and yet it is the most precious thing we have. The only way to escape the corruptible effect of praise is to go on working. Human knowledge and skills alone cannot lead humanity to a happy and dignified life. Humanity has every reason to place the proclaimers of high moral standards and values above the discoverers of objective truth. A ship is always safe at the shore, but that is not what it is built for. If you want to live a happy life, tie it to a goal, not to people or things. Common sense is nothing more than a deposit of prejudices laid down in the mind before you reach 18. If A is a success in life, then A equals X plus Y plus Z, work is X, Y is play, and Z is keeping your mouth shut. Creativity is intelligence having fun. A clever person solves a problem. A wise person avoids it. Once we accept our limits, we go beyond them. Logic will get you from A to Z, imagination will get you everywhere. Any fool can know. The point is to understand. I must be willing to give up what I am in order to become what I will be. Common sense is what tells us the earth is flat. The state of mind which enables a man to do work of this kind, is akin to that of the religious worshipper, or the lover, the daily effort comes from no deliberate intention or program, but straight from the heart. The mind that opens to a new idea never returns to its original size. Our task must be to free ourselves by widening our circle of compassion to embrace all living creatures and the whole of nature and its beauty. Coincidence is God's way of remaining anonymous. Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. The important thing is to not stop questioning. Nature shows us only the tale of the lion. But there is no doubt in my mind that the lion belongs with it even if he cannot reveal himself to the eye all at once because of his huge dimension. As far as the laws of mathematics refer to reality, they are not certain, and as far as they are certain, they do not refer to reality.